In the last couple of videos, we saw that convolutional neural networks create features to represent parts of images, and then later combine those features together to understand larger and larger parts of the image. However, we also saw that if the network is supposed to process a 1000 by 1000 image, it needs 500 layers. With that many layers, there could be problems with diminishing gradients, where the network is simply unable to learn what the proper weights are in the beginning of the network because there are just way too many layers. Also, even though convolutional filters are fast and use few weights, with that many layers there could be problems with memory or execution time as well. How do we reduce the number of layers needed in convolutional neural networks? One way is pooling. Pooling is a method to dramatically reduce the size of the intermediate features. If we reduce the size of the intermediate features, then we need less layers in order to cover the whole input or to reduce the input down to something more manageable. Similar to convolutions, pooling takes a filter and slides the filter along the input according to its stride. Unlike convolutional layers, pooling doesn't have weights and instead computes some operation on each valid position and returns a single value as output. Two common operations are max and average. So if you have a 4x4 four four matrix with a 2x2 two two filter size with a stride of 2 and max pooling, all you are doing is looking at each 2x2 two two block in the input and getting the maximum value. Looking at the first block, the highest number is 5, the next block, the highest number is 12, and so on until you get the final output. Pooling like above reduces the size of the intermediate features by a factor of 2 every time you do it. Typically, you alternate convolutions and pooling layers until the intermediate features have a size around 1 by 1. Given a 1000 by 1000 image, you could reduce the internet feature size to 1 by 1 in the following manner. Starting with a convolution, and then a pool, and then a convolution, and then a pool, and a convolution, and a pool, and so on. All the way until it becomes the size. Then that gets fed into a fully connected layer to make sure the output is the right size and you add a little bit of non-linearity, but that's not relevant here. Now, instead of 500 convolutional layers, it's only 17 total layers, including all the convolutions, pooling, and the fully connected layer at the end. If you just count convolutions, it's only 8 layers. Pooling is used in the real world after convolutional layers as a way of downsampling. That is, it is used in order to reduce the size of intermediate features and therefore the number of layers necessary. It's used in basically every task where convolutions are used, including image and text classification.